Stephanie, since your first acting role in UK television back in 1997, your career has been a whirlwind of success. Let us talk about the vast range of different characters that you have portrayed, including the fantastical side of Stephanie Leonidas. I guess I've just been really lucky with with everything that uh, with the characters that I've played because they've all been really different. It's every actor's dream really to constantly be taking on a role that's so different from the last one. And so um, from the sci-fi shows that I've done, like Defiance, where I played Arissa and she was, you know, an alien. It was a complete transformation for me because. I had a prosthetic and I was spray painted every day and a big like ginger wig and completely like transformed in front of a mirror every morning before I'd even gotten set to you know the more gritty stuff that I've loved and has always been a big passion of mine and I couldn't pick out of any of them that I love the most I just I've, I love just yeah seeing what happens next. Let us talk about your family life and your connection with Cyprus. What was it like growing up in a culturally diverse environment? We were very much brought up in a Greek kind of community. My best friends are Greek. Um, I went to Greek school on a Saturday. Um, you wouldn't think it with the little that I can speak, shamefully. But um, so yeah, there's a lot of Greek influences. Even my mum being English, you know, we'd, she'd cook Greek meals. I'd have souvlas all the time at my friends' houses. I mean, I'd spent a lot of time at my Greek friends' houses because of the food. So yeah, it's a huge influence in my life. The big weddings, the big fat Greek weddings, the christenings, the holidays to Cyprus. So yeah. What has been the most defining moment in your career? That's a tough one, really, because I feel like every job is such a defining moment. You really cherish every job when it comes along. They're all so different. They take you to a different part of the world. You're not often filming in London, so there's obviously often a big upheaval um, for months on end and you, you live somewhere else. It's not just the actual filming. It's the kind of your whole life changes with each job. So everything holds a big part in my heart really like every job I really hold dearly but I suppose um, one of the jobs I did when I was 17 called Night and Day which was a, um, a short series uh, I was 17 it brought me out of school I learned a lot on the job and that was when it sort of started um, I guess um, on a much more professional level uh, for me um, and then Defiance was obviously a big one because it was a three-year show and I, I was living in Toronto for that time. Uh, and Toronto has become quite a big um, part of my life, really, because I've, I've gone out there for a couple of jobs since and I've worked with the same crew again. And so I, I think Toronto really, really stands out for me as being uh, one of the big defining moments of my life, just being out there with, with a few jobs. And I love it out there and it's become a second home. And I keep like hoping that the next job will be back there. Is there a particular role or genre of film that you would like to sink your teeth into? Not many actors will even admit to it, but I love musical theatre. And so I would love to do a little bit of musical theatre at some point. Um, it's something I started off in. So yeah, who knows? A long time ago, someone, uh, I was sat having a conversation with a producer and she said to me, we were having quite a deep conversation and she, said the line a couple of times that this too shall pass and I remember that really hitting home and since then people have said it quite a lot I've heard it I feel like I hear it everywhere and it's always sat with me that it's not only the good the bad times that will pass but the good too and it's so important to um to cherish and enjoy everything but never take anything too seriously either because neither the highs or the lows to just literally know that everything passes and to just keep a level head with everything and I think that is something I've tried to carry with me through my work but also my life and I try and remind myself of that phrase constantly really. I think it's a, it's a good one and it just, it's a grounding one.